Good afternoon and today I'm at the FA Vars match between Desbra and Stanport Swifts. Desbra in Northamptonshire near Rothwell, in fact I passed uh, the Rothwell Football Club which I also haven't visited on my way here, um, having taken the bus from Kettering. Nice walk here from the town centre at Desbra which has got a fair amount of facilities, just picked up a place in Corals there, it's a nice bag of chips and here I am at kind of ramshackle old ground but bits of it I really love old fashioned floodlights like you get in Sabutio sets or in the old Sabutio sets when I was a boy um, big water tower there with the old uh, mobile phone masts up the top um, bit of cover here bit of cover over there and the ramshackle Heath Robinson looking stand so let's have a walk around and uh, it's muddy I it's been raining on and off all week. It's fearsomely cold now with a wind that cuts right through you like a knife. I did have fears that this might be called off, but there's no hint on the desperate Twitter feed that this was happening. Very, very muddy in this field to my right, the warm up area, but the pitch itself actually um, doesn't look too bad at all. It's a bit up and down the pitch, which is going to be energy sapping, but also probably helps it drain. Although, We'll see, but at the moment it doesn't look at all bad, hasn't cut up as I pass the home dugout. I'm hoping for a really good FA Vars tie here, but please don't go to extra time. Here's your way dugout, standard perspex affairs, and the obligatory cones set out for the second team's drills when they come out, I guess, in a minute. It's about a five. Five to ten minute walk from Desborough Town Centre. I got off the bus by the chip shop itself, and then it's a straight road here, very, very easy to find. Get the same stop to get the bus on the way back. So, let's look up at one of these hugely impressive floodlights and the water tower next to it. Really great. It's really frustrating when you're at football grounds and a train goes past and there's no station anywhere near here. Why can't I just build one for... That little beaching's got a lot to answer for. Looking back where we came from. Storm clouds. Sun. Excellent view, that is, of the sun going through the floodlight. And waste ground behind the goal. Kind of fencing here, some nice looking bungalows, and then just a bit of scrap land really, with what looks like the beginnings of a bonfire there. Hard standing, the way around, and an old drill like fence. I'll keep it there doing a spot palatis, can't beat it, and suddenly the fence disappears. You're walking around, happy as Larry. And then behind the goal, the stanchions are still there, but the fence is just gone. Well, that has to be said that the gates here on this fencing look like they're held together by rust. It looks like I've been here a very, very long time. So, coming to the far end of the corner flag, we'll reach for that and just have a little look back once more at the water tower. Where we've just been. And there we go, looking back at one of the other floodlights and hard standing here up to the stand. I have absolutely no idea why that photographer is sitting in a stall in the middle of a pitch, the best part of an hour before the game starts. Maybe like me. First time here taking photos. In fact, there's another fellow with his camera, so fair few visitors today, ground hoppers, when Desborough get to this sort of round. And they'll be out in force. So the covered area here, which looks quite low, and just uh, rows of wooden benching. That'll be fine to sit on. And the forecast is for potential heavy showers, so if that comes along then there's going to be lots of place to cover on this side here. And then a bit of 
cupboard standing area with a row of just plastic seats held together by a bit of orange string and yes ladies and gentlemen I'm the wanderer and here's a bin with a tree growing out of it oh yeah the wanderer and this is the entrance here where that young lad is old fellow there who was selling problems as I was almost stack it down the step there do all my own stunt work you know past the entrance here and then we come to this another covered area this near side get in really looks fabulous with the sun shining on it there All right. and with the wind quite strong the weather changing very very quickly here this afternoon and it's back from where we just came and one final look over at the stand that we walk through with a wonky roof. But don't take my word for it. If you're able, come to Desborough Football Club yourself. I'd love to hear what you think, and I'm sure you'd be given a warm welcome. If you're unable to get here, then why not go to a non league ground of your choice? Um, do a video or just tweet me at yt40 and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not click on like? It makes me feel good. If you didn't enjoy it, then click on dislike. Um, also makes me feel good because I know that people are watching until the end. Uh, if you want to see more of this, and quite frankly, why wouldn't you? Then click on subscribe and all future videos that I do, all future grants I visit will come through your YouTube feed. And if you click on the little bell, well, I'm not going to tell you what happens, but your life will never be the same again and you will not live to regret it. Anyway, thanks for watching and this is Desperate Town Football Club.